Hello everybody. I just thought I'd do a little video on this uh, Hasbro Vader conversion I did. This is a 2010 removable blade Hasbro A New Hope Saber. Nothing really special. I just uh, I have a Romans MPP that I'm going to be doing soon and I wanted to experiment to uh, get my head right on the blade holder I'd be making for it. And uh, my goal was that and to um, do it with whatever parts I already had on hand. So the install is very, very basic. Um, you know, I used all materials that I already had. Um, I had a uh, Nigons RGB LED I used in here. I had an extra prism board. I had an MHS uh, board holder. So, you know, was, I just wanted to get it done in the weekend and not spend no money that I haven't already spent. So I achieved that. So uh, I started out, I wanted to get the spring in here. So with this saber, the removable blade saber, it had a blanking cap. So I machined that out and cut a groove in here so that I could fit the spring in there to give it that look that it's supposed to have. Um, uh, let me step back. I have not done a set screw yet. I haven't decided... I can one either do it here, make a set screw like this to do here, or do it underneath here. This would probably look better, this would hold the blade better. So I just haven't decided on that yet, so that's the blade plug I made. I used the original screw. I didn't use the washer because of the size of it. I have about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half blade depth. I think it's closer to an inch and a half. But you can see there that the spring seats in there real nice. It was, it was rough getting it in, um, but once it locked in, I don't think it's going to come out. So my blade holder I made is, is the blade holder and LED holder. It comes back to about right here. So the LED is like sitting like this I guess on the blade holder I machined the recess so I could reuse the original sticker from the Hasbro and you'll see there that those did not line up right so I focused on getting the silver bars to line up right As far as the blade holder goes, I machined it to where it is a perfect fit in there. I mean, it's a snug fit, no wobble whatsoever. And then I took advantage of one, two, three, and four screws that protruded through um, to tighten down on it and are holding it in there. The switches are mounted in the original switch holder, the little plastic switch holder. Got my um, activation and auxiliary. I find your lack of faith disturbing. switches worked out really smooth and nice. I, uh, I used everything original that I could. Um, I did have to I ground the uh, bottom of this down to give me the up and down play that I needed and then I made another little very thin shim to glue underneath of this so that the switch cannot slide back and forth anymore. I mean, it does a little, but I wanted it to be loose to work good. But, it, you know, it doesn't have that original back-and-forth slide that it used to have. You know, I used the original... I don't know if you can see in here. This is kind of bad. Bad lighting. Use the original grill. It won't focus in good on this, but I used the original grill. It is just glued in with the E600. So 
So you can see this is a very, very basic install. I machined a sleeve to go in there to adapt to give this MHS holder very, very nice fit. I just did the removable battery, like I said, very, very basic. The Velcro, I like doing the Velcro uh, to help apply a little pressure on the board to help not have the false swings and clashes. I'm trying to do this while I'm looking at the camera. No, um, you know, I got both my switches here on this one. When I dig into my MPP, I will have a switch here and um, probably one switch here is what I'll most likely do. Have my uh, activation here and auxiliary here. So I do still got to figure out my set screw, but I'll get that sometime. Anyway, thanks for looking, guys. Have a good day.